Hey everyone, welcome to Remnant from the Ashes again. After an unbelievable amount of time, I am back on the YouTube grind playing Remnant from the Ashes. Now this game is going to be my new YouTube playthrough game because... Well, you know what, I'll explain in just a bit. Let me go through the cutscenes first because it has been a while since I've played this game. So we are going to blast through this and... Well, literally blast through this. And then I can explain kind of the whole context of this playthrough because, well, honestly, there is no context. I just felt like playing Remnant from the Ashes. Um, but yeah, this is going to be my YouTube game. Um, finally back. This is the character I managed to come up with. He's not the best, but, you know, this character creator is, once again, you know, you know how it is with these Souls-likes. And their character creators. Anyways, <coughs> I'm sick. I've been sick for, well actually I'm not sick anymore, but last Thursday, so a week ago, I got a cold. I did not get corona. I did not get corona. I got a cold. Uh, but I was out of action for quite a while. Uh, today is the first day. Today is Wednesday, by the way. The first day when I feel like I'm like, okay to record. My nose doesn't sound like it's blocked by two BB pellets or something. Uh, I'm not paying attention to this cutscene, am I? I don't remember what even happens in this game. I know there's like monsters, apocalypse. Apparently there's a dragon. I forgot there's a dragon. I know there are monsters and you gotta shoot them, uh, that's about it. Uh, context never really mattered, I feel like, in Souls games. Yeah, anyways. Today is the first day when I feel like I'm like back in action. I'm gonna stream from tomorrow, I didn't feel like streaming today because I got home really late, um, just busy at work. So, yeah, we're humanity's last hope. There's monsters, we gotta shoot them. Uh, or melee them, alternatively. Now, in terms of this game, you remember when I played this. I think this game was still played by... Well, I played it when I was still on YouTube with streaming. This was from the YouTube days, so Twitch people have not experienced this game, although this is not going on Twitch. But you know, it's always different playing a game a second time. And then again, it's always different playing a game in this format where, uh, you know, like you're streaming, you're kind of getting pushed along, you feel like you gotta make progress. Uh, here, if I go down a dead end and there's nothing to explore, I can just edit it out. By the way, I'm playing this on hard. Uh, Apparently this game has difficulty settings, which I forgot. Which is good because this game was very easy uh, when I, I played it. I remember it being easy. I never really struggled with it too much. The only thing I know remember about this tutorial is that it's like full of ambushes. It's kind of a dick move, honestly. Because, I mean, you're you're meant to die here. It's a Souls tutorial. So... Fuck, how do you dodge in this game? I forgot. So anyways, this game, if you don't know what the deal with Remnant from the Ashes is... It's a shooter. Uh, oh, there it is. In fact... Other than being a shooter... I would say it actually plays quite a lot like that old Warhammer Space Marine game which I also played on the channel. I think I've made this comparison before. Uh, it plays quite similarly to that in that you need to kind of alternate between shooting and melee. Well with this game it depends whether you use melee it depends on what type of build you go for. Last time I went for like a sniper type build 
which did not really use melee or it did not I still hold out that that game Space Marine that old Space Marine game had like a really interesting uh, kind of core gameplay mechanic basically the deal was that I am in trouble the deal with that game was that you could only restore your shields I think it actually kind of worked like Doom, didn't it? You restore your health and shields by like melee kind of context killing enemies. If that makes any sense. Fuck, I, I do remember this. This is annoying with this game that if you're low on HP, uh, the screen constantly flashes red like this. Let's see if I survive. I did not survive. I did not make it far. I think that you get some bonus. Uh, but really you are restricted here because you don't have a gun. And the gun is the business in this game. Fucking Ele Ellen DeGeneres rescues you. Forgot she's called Ellen. Which, you know, the context of it now with everything that's been discovered about Ellen it's in a different context that's for sure but anyways the thing is I didn't explain the reason I'm playing this game is I've been <coughs> <coughs> I swear I don't have corona um, is I'm really into shooters recently I got Master Chief Collection and that like put me back into the FPS slash shooter grind I'm replaying Doom now currently on Hardcore difficulty or violence difficulty or whatever, you know, the hard... Oh, this kid. This kid looks like he's 42. Um, and don't ask me what the fuck he's wearing. Wallace. Of course he's called Wallace, too. Any kid who looked like this would be called Wallace, right? What? I'm not coming back. Never mind. He dead. The commander said you should come see her when you woke up. She's in the room down the hall. Anyone, like only the hardcore Mr. Sketchhead audience will get that joke I just made. Whatever. So yeah, that hoodie ain't it, Chief. That ain't it. Alright, journal. Oh yeah, this game has a lot of lore. Uh, oh yeah. And then you... War 13. Oh, that's the name of the enemy, the root. Listen. I'm not gonna read this. I read this during stream. I don't remember it, but basically these boys are in trouble. Uh, that's about the gist of it. Not much more you can say. God, this outfit ain't it either, Chief. What up, Alan? Almost. You, friend, are an unexpected guest. Of course we're gonna solve all their problems. We haven't seen a living soul on that shore for weeks. You will tell me why you were really out there. Oh yeah, the island tower. What what is up with this island tower? I don't remember. I think that's where the bad guy is, right? No one or something. Or oh, that's where we were meant to go. Or maybe not. Anyways, I'll explain more about the game a little bit later once it starts to get interesting, once we get our weapon. 
But this is a Souls-like shooter. In fact, you can pick the dick option, but I'm not gonna. It's a teleporter. So anyways, recently, I mean, not even recently, like this, completely mixing up my topics, but why trust me with this? Cool. So anyways, I would argue or say that this is the only good souls like shooter you do this for us, and in fact get out of here. it is only one of two souls like shooters there ain't, mu ain't much option but this is the good one the other one which is i don't know the name of the other one is shit like like truly shit so we don't deal with that. This is the weapons guy. <laughs> God, this character didn't. Welcome to Ward 13. I did what I could to patch you up. You seem like a tough one though. Yeah, for some reason my character, yeah, whatever. <coughs> this is going to happen a lot. There's another character that's like a real bitch. Yeah. That's where we get our weapons. And we're obviously not going to get that armor. It's not like strategically placed. It's not strategically placed for us to stumble onto it. So anyways, um, this game is also sort of an indie game. You know, I think these the kind of classification of games are called the double A's. Uh, in that, you know, it's not like a big triple A, bu big budget game, but it ain't exactly indie either. The Souls genre seems to be a popular thing to do in this category. So, here's another one of those, but this one actually turned out good. So, GG's to the makers. I don't remember who developed this game, actually. What up, not Bloodborne Hunter? She looks like the singer of, like, a mid-2000s kind of emo sort of metal but pop band is that too specific like evanescence type music how hard could it be it's a nuclear reactor too I got a man bun as well, so by the way, on the character. Not IRL. I'll help you kill whatever comes our way. You probably need a weapon, huh? Let's see if I can find you something. She just got weapons. Anyways, this is where we select our class. Here's what we have. We have the scrapper. Close ranged combat, shotgun, and a machine pistol. We have the ex-cultist. Powerful coach gun. Repeater pistol, scrap hatchet, mid range, excellent burst damage. And we have the hunter who I played in my last playthrough. I'm gonna go with the cultist. We got this fly hat. Get up there and start the we don't get the fly hat just yet. But the coach gun. Uh, 
how do okay so what is this? this is like a sort of shotgun and then we got the it's like a saw cool saw Guerrera I don't know how I came up with it. oh yeah this is a fallout fallout computer isn't it Reactor is offline. Commodore 64. This is DOS, isn't it? Can you believe I still remember DOS? Listen. I'm not that old. But. I know what DOS is. There are some systems that work. My workplace. That are still DOS based. Unbelievably. It's like how. You know. How is that even a thing? I am a hoodie. Oh, this is so much better. Like, this game becomes way easier when you have guns. Alright, fuck. Where are they? Now let's go down. Let's help, help our little friend. So there is some auto-locking in this game. Oh, come on. What the fuck are you doing? Um. So yeah, this game does auto-lock a little bit with some aim assist. I mean, this is, again, this is not Doom. You're not going to be doing crazy shooting maneuvers. But... It's still okay, I feel like the shooting mechanics are decent. So I kinda unbelievable, you know, I've at this point I've played all the classes because I had like a another playthrough where I tried the the scrapper. It's like an unbelievable amount of characters in this game start out with shotgun type weapons. Shit, you gotta pick up things manually? I forgot that. God, why is she not... She ain't doing shit. What the fuck? Oh, cutscene. I was like... She, she wasn't this active IRL. Yeah, but this game is really fun though. I mean... The shooting mechanics... Again, I would say it's it fits this game. It fits this game. Again, this ain't Doom. That's it. I'm definitely noticing the bump in difficulty though. Enemies are like a lot more. Not even aggressive. But it's more like they seem to be accurate. Maybe they deal more damage. Again, I first time around I completely missed that there is even a way to set your difficulty. But yeah, one thing we definitely need to get rid of it is a shotgun. Because I'm sure if I really want to play a shotgun build, what I'm looking for is like a machine gun. I feel like if I want to be different to my previous build, I gotta be like. That's it. I gotta be like real different. This is like a secret area from what I remember. Uh, which I think like machine gun would be. 
the thing. Anyways, I'll go, I'll go back in just a second. It's just my curiosity. I sort of remember what's down here. These do become important later on, this area. Oh yeah, because you need to like... Yeah, I remember. You need to like restore the power through this like fuse box or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, we'll get to all of that. So what can you do? Aside from go blasting. Anyways, I started blasting. It's pretty good. The thing about that clip, though, that Always Sunny in Philadelphia clip, where he says, well, where Frank Reynolds says, anyways, I started blasting. Like, people miss the real juicy bit. I'll, I'll finish my thought. This is the merchant dude. He's like real friendly. Of course we do. Not destiny like destiny. Although this game ju does kind of draw inspiration, especially if you play it in co-op from these like uh, dungeon shooters or whatever. But it gives you the Estes. We're going to be visiting this guy a lot. Gunfire game. I just saw that he has the developer's logo on the little badge. That's pretty cool. L1 That's the dragon heart. That's all right. Oh yeah, I didn't even mention the real juicy thing about this game is that it's also partially randomly generated a la Chelis dungeons. Yeah, th this one is a real bitch. Insubordination. Execute her. But she's useful. I almost want to sass her, but nah. Yeah, we got a weapon mod. Mender's Aura. Oh, this is the healing one. This is the one like, it, I, for some reason I didn't use. So anyways, weapons have this slot. Whoops. And then you can put like upgrades in them. Which is pretty good. Before we do any of that. Hey friend. Ah, thanks for getting the power back on. I forgot my train of thought. Oh yeah, the anyways I started blasting. The, the I think the real juicy bit in this in that clip is when there's a line he says something like, um anyway, some people call me a hero and I'm ready to accept that responsibility. I honestly think that's like the real juicy bit of 
of the <coughs> of the entire clip. You also sell shit, don't you? I'm like almost a hundred percent so sure he sells shit as well. Don't know if he sells a machine gun though. Anyways, we have more shit. Yawning again. Don't worry. We blasted them. Anyway, so you can talk to all these people. They're all happy and shit. You got the power back on. You're the alpha now. What the hell are these people doing? Slav squatting. All right, and there's a kid running around. I'm not gonna talk to him. This creepy ass. You can just go back. Anyways, I swear to you, this game will pick up. People probably know. I don't know if people will be interested in watching a second playthrough of this game. I think this game warrants attention. I just did it. Go get yourself better protection from rigs in the cave. <sighs> oh, you are forced. Fuck, I didn't even re like read the objective. I didn't know you're f <coughs> <coughs> I didn't know you are forced to upgrade your shit. Well, shit. His upgrade materials are fairly um it's my armor. Yeah, do the coach gun. All right. Hey, now that's better. Oh, and uh, that's it. It's not the strongest stuff, but more protection of what you've got. Really interesting like the models keep sometimes like switching to lower quality. It doesn't matter. Look at this. We really are a bloodborne hunter. Bridges. <laughs> That's one of my favorite words in the English language. Bridges. It's such a funny word. And it's like a, it's like an American thing. Bridges. It always reminds me of South Park. So what else would it remind you of? The shit my bridges stuff. Steamy Ray one. Hell yeah. Bridges. I'm glad I picked this character class just for that. Good to see you more equipped. Riggs and McCabe do good work. I hope this will be enough to get you on your way. <laughs> and I see Reggie gave you the dragon heart. She just notices. Uh, he wouldn't part with an artifact that powerful without a I suppose. That's it. It's how you extract information. Very well. Reggie may play the old fool, but his judgment is rarely off the mark. We can't leave by the gates now, but the founder, my grandfather, gave me this key years ago. He said we should only use it when there's no other choice. Well, we are out of choices. Hell yeah. Considering you stuck your neck out for us, it seems fitting you do the honors. Take it. There's a terminal downstairs in the main room. Use the key there. D A T L A key. Anyways, this game is really interesting. Uh in that it also kinda has like it's post post apocalyptic. A la like fallout or something, but I don't know. I, I like the atmosphere. I mean, this game is... we are gonna see it's not the most interesting to look at. That's one of probably the biggest criticisms you can have of it. The environments are kind of bland, but that's part of the random generated nature of it. 
in that uh you know you're limited to certain assets especially since there's not like an infinite there's not an infinite amount of combinations the bosses do change though there are like several the main bosses stay the same but there are like world bosses <coughs> <coughs> which are always different initialize this bitch It's our teleporter. Looks like one of these like bullshit new age crystals, you know? That some like, I don't know, 40 year old alcoholic stay at home mom would pedal to you at like a fair or something. It heals you. Just put it against your forehead. Don't worry about COVID. Use the crystal. You want to get out of here? This is your shot. My grandfather was. God, what an asshole answer that second one is. The founder of Ward 13. He brought everyone to Ward 13 when the root first attacked. He was determined to learn where the root came from. Spent so much time out there. See, she's got a face mask around her neck, though. What a stupid question, like, if that's her grandfather, how the fuck would he be alive? We'll be back, don't worry. Anyways, let's do this. Just okay. Did you see how they just flashed like okay on the screen? Whatever. Once this game gets started though, it's really gonna get started. Some of the bosses do get more challenging though later on. Maybe this hard mode. Whatever. Fuck it. Been through worse than harm hard mode on fucking remnant from the ashes, I swear. Adventure mode is now available. Adventure mode is <coughs> It's like the infinite dungeon, I think. Like like the chalice dungeon. In that it's... You can just go there and pick up shit, fight bosses and all that. I might mess around with that. I don't think I messed around with it. On playthrough 1. Again, it's the nature of doing streams. You kind of just... Want to keep the action going. <coughs> I'm coughing a lot. Shit. How am I going to go to work tomorrow? Everybody's going to look, look at me with the side eyes, you know. Anyways. Man, what is it? Like, fucking... Okay, I was going to say... I was going to complain about the low times, but... That wasn't actually that bad. Mortal Shell had some pretty bad low times that's whatever anyways area number one this is the city area and we are getting here and this fool's notes are all over the place uh, okay so that's the daughter of skin tonic ward 13 key card Nice, nice, nice. Also, make sure to break the boxes. Uh, boxes are your like real enemy in this game. Anyways, what we're gonna do is I'm going to slowly start wrapping up the episode here. 
Uh, except for this secret that we have here. We got a badass overcoat. Drifter overcoat. I'm gonna drift on out of this episode in just a bit. It's better. It looks better as well. Cool. With the hat. Hell yeah. Anyways, I'm really gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. Guys, make sure to like, like this video. Really helps out. Like this video. It's, again, the best way to help out my channel. Also, subscribe if you are new here. Hit that subscribe button for more videos. Hope you guys enjoyed this playthrough. Uh, I'm gonna peruse some builds for this game. See if I can come up with something. Some good build, you know, that's gonna make the game fun. Uh, for now, thank you for watching episode 1 of Remnant from the Ashes playthrough 2. I don't know what I'm gonna call this series. It's a casual playthrough. <coughs> that's the last cough for today. See you next time. Peace out.